Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom topology for Mininet. So here I have installed Mininet on Windows operating system and I'm accessing gedit using Xming server. So this is the virtual machine. This is my uh, putty console and uh, this is the Xming server. So using Xming server, I am accessing gedit. So in order to create a topology for mininet first of all we need to import mininet dot topo import so this is the topology this is the modules you need to import next thing you need to create your own class so let's say in my case I'm going to create my or let's say first so whatever class you are going to create, you need to create this one as a child class of Topo. And here we are going to define the constructor. So in this constructor, what we are going to do, we are going to call constructor uh, of parent class. So how we can do that? Topo init and we will pass self so from here onwards uh, you have to first make sure how many host and switch you are going to add so in this example I'm going to take very simple topology uh, in which we are considering two hosts both are connected with a single switch so first we need to create two hosts so h1 equal self dot add host and here I'm going to write the name of the host. So same, you can use the same syntax to create any number of host. So in our case, we are going to create only two. So our hosts are created. Next, we need to create switch. So we are going to create only a single switch. So host and switch creation part is done. Next thing what we have to do, we have to create links between these host and switch. So we are going to connect H1 with S1 and S2 with S1. So how to do that? Self dot add link H1 S1 self dot add link S2 S1. So in the similar manner, if you are going to create a large topology, you can do the same. You can create your host, you can create your switches and then you can link, you can uh, form link between any host and switch where you want to. And the last thing what we need to do, we need to create a dictionary with name topo and in this dictionary, we are going to write our topology name. So topology name will be first. And here what we are going to do, we are going to create object of this class. So how to do that? Lambda host. So in that case, in if you can see lambda, we are not having any parameters. So this will be an anonymous function uh, with no parameter and uh, the action will be object instantiation of this class. Now save this file. So you can save this file in mininet or any folder because we are going to give full path at the time of mininet startup. So let's say I am storing in mininet and I am giving it name first.py. So this one is saved. Now what I am going to do, I am going to start my mininet and we will provide our custom topology. So how to do that? Sudo mn. So first parameter we need to supply like custom. It means we are not uh, using existing topology. We are supplying our own. Then we need to provide path for our file. So this is the path. Next thing we need to provide name of our topology. So this name, whatever we have specified in this dictionary. So that's all. So if you can see uh, here, 
uh, adding hosts so only two hosts are added and one switch then these are the links which we have specified in this file and so here we can see ping all command so it's working so in the similar manner you can create um, complex topologies as well thank you very much for watching